Well, Fleetwood today, uh, winter series event PGA. Uh, just got my clubs done and them reshafted. Um, beautiful day, a bit foggy driving over this morning, but it's just perfect this morning. Score should be low. Uh, Teeing off at 10.50, so just about an hour. A little, little bit of a warm up, hit some putts, and uh, looking forward to it. Won't be too much on golf course today, like I said, I lost my clip, camera clip, and uh, the summer season starts tomorrow. So a little, little kind of a warm up event, but looking for those magic number six birdies again. So just giving you a little uh, round up from today's round at Fleetwood. It was a PGA Winter Series event, PGA of Lancashire Winter Series event. Uh, the last one, there is a, a grand final, which uh, I might have to miss just due to some family commitments, uh, which is in a couple of weeks' time at Blackpool North Shore. Uh, but today's round, you've seen the scorecard, had seven birdies today, which was good. Although, feel slightly disappointed as I started off with four birdies in a row, which is a little unusual for me. Got off to a really hot start. Uh, two of them were really good birdies and then a whole two decent puts down, uh, three and four from roughly 15, 20 foot, which is an, makes a nice change. Um, it plateaued a little bit during the round and then the ninth, I kind of knew it was coming, that little hook out of bounds uh, down the left. You ever played the ninth at Fleetwood? Had a few tee shots, which were a little bit, a little bit drawery for me. I generally kind of hit a little bit of a fade golf ball. So a bit disappointed there and didn't really capitalise on the ninth and 10th, which are two par fives on Fleetwood ended up going uh, a blob, so double bogey for me. It was a Stableford points uh, competition, and then a par, although it was by the side of the green and two up the tenth. Uh, did birdie the other two par fives, which is good. So finish off with seven birdies, one double bogey, one bogey, which was a three put, which wasn't too bad. I, I hit it to sort of three foot past the hole and just missed the one coming back. So not the end of the world. But oh no, nice to get a little. Uh, it's a tied first finish, but suppose still a bit of a win. Uh, no one else was better than me. Uh, so we had three players: Steve Parry. Andy Palmer and myself tied at the top. Um, tomorrow I am in Huddersfield at um, Crosslands Heath Golf Course, which I've heard really good things. I've never played it, so I'm going in blind. I've uh, got a little bit of advice to lay up on the first hole. I um, don't know what it is, but I'm going to lay up on the first hole anyway. And that's in PJ North region, the first event of the summer for me, and uh, hopefully get off to a good start. So carry on some of the form from today would be really... What a difference a day makes. Tuesday on the way to Huddersfield, raining, cold, wet, miserable. Just stuck in traffic, waiting to get on the motorway. Um, it's about an hour and a half to where we're going, Crossland Heath today. Never played it before. Um, hopefully it stops raining and warms up. It was nice yesterday. Stuck in traffic. Teeing off in, still got an hour and a half. It says I'm half, half an hour away. Yeah, I wonder what speed that's travelling at. Today we're at Royal Lytham and I've got my shoes on, so it must be fancy. And the famous worn out step where many greats have placed their feet. This is my last round in my 20s today. How good is this all? Seventh at Royal Lytham today. Had uh, 350 yards for my second shot into the wind. Going all right, I've had uh, six straight pars. Steady Eddie. Little wind as you can probably hear. I'll fill you in uh, later on. Out of the way bunker. Pitching wedge, you've got about 240. <laughs> Trying to chew off the lip. No, 15th at Lytham. Me and uh, Mr. Duncan have beaten Harry and Mark. No, no, we're Dormy 4, sorry, 4 to play, 4 up. Um, they did really good. Just a little review for the week, really. I've had a couple of tournaments, had the win at Fleetwood on Monday. Got off to a great start, you saw the scorecard. Played uh, pretty solid. Struggled a little bit with my game from sort of the 100 yard wedge 
to sort of 70 that kind of gap and they're very similar again on Tuesday of course I didn't know um, got an empty now up in Huddersfield uh, Crossland's Heath that was it again played solid um, finished up tied 11 of course didn't know a few blind tee shots we quarries and things really interesting golf course um, proper night and day between those two tracks from Fleetwood by the sea and then Crossland's Heath up in the mountains when you like need an oxygen mask for some of them um, but similar things, so 100 yards in, missing greens, instead of knocking it close, so a little bit of area to work at. Today, so far, uh, Lidham, I've had one bogey, one birdie, one eagle. Let's see if we're all, one putt. Some view, coming up the 18th at Lidham, there's Adam Scott's bunker. Beautiful. So it's Friday. Good Friday of Easter, Easter week and a little roundup of the week. I've had a fantastic week really. Uh, got to play a tournament on Monday which I won at Fleetwood, a tied win, uh, four under around there. Tuesday I played one up in Huddersfield um, which I played pretty solid, just a little rusty from like I said around about that 60 to 100 yard mark with the wedges, little three quarter wedges we need to do some work on. Uh, a couple of missed greens really which is never very good. Uh, Wednesday was meant to be a coaching day, but my little boy had an, an accident at Beavers on Tuesday night where he got a couple of teeth knocked out, fell over and hit a table. So we spent the evening in A&E, followed by a doctor's a dentist appointment Wednesday morning. So on Wednesday we had some cancelled lessons. And sorry guys if you had a lesson booked in. Um, he's still got a swollen jaw, and still eating soft foods and lots of ice cream, so he's quite happy. Thursday, yesterday, I played my little birthday round of golf, as it's my birthday tomorrow actually, with Andy Duncan, uh, Mark Monaghan and Harry Borland. Um, that was lovely. Lytham is, I've played it a few times, it's, it's a nice golf course with just the history about the place and you've got the claret jug in there and you know, you think who's walked these fairways and you know, you remember seeing stuff from when the Open was there, so that was, that was really good. Well, it's a rainy Monday, the um, 3rd of April, and I had a wonderful birthday party over the weekend, and it is also Masters Week. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you who I'm picking for this week's Masters. Um, now, I haven't done too bad in the past with some picks, and I don't really go for the favourites, because I'm a bit of a gambler. Uh, but I'm going to give you five picks who I'm picking. The first one is Phil Mickelson at 16 to 1. Now, he got off to an absolute belting start at the uh, Houston Open, just gone, in his first round. Um, so, in some really good form. He's already previously won. He knows. He's previously won this year, and he's won the Masters a couple of times, so he knows the track well. Traditionally suits a bit of a lefty as well. I just think Phil is so exciting to watch. So, he's why probably my least odds at 16 to 1, Phil Mickelson. My second choice is Paul Casey at 20 to 1. I back him most years, and he, he always does quite well, he's got the game, long, pretty consistent. If he's putting holes up, hopefully, but he's been there enough. Uh, I'm just going to go hit some balls at the lovely Ashton. I say it's lovely, it's uh, it's raining, so we're going to be undercover hitting some golf balls, and I'll fill you in on the other three down on the range. Next choice, bit of a tie this one, I can't quite decide yet who my pound is going to go on. Between Henrik Stenson and Alex Norrin. Getting a bit of rain on me. I can't believe Stenson's at about 35 to 1, 33 to 1. I mean, he's won majors. Again, long golf. A uh, bit streaky on the old putting, but I can't look past Henrik Stenson. 33, I think he was, or 35 to 1. Both very, very similar. Alex Norrin has had some great form this year. I like the way he does things in his golf swing. Tell he works very hard at it. There's lots of things I like about the way he hits golf balls and his putting. I quite like as well, even though it's a bit unconventional. So the next bet, now this is where it gets interesting, is Charlie Hoffman at 70 to 1. I think it was a couple of years ago, he was there or thereabouts, Again, he's another golfer. I love his golf swing. It's maybe not the most orthodox. 
love how he swings it and the consistency of it. So Charlie Hoffman at 70 to 1. And my last one, my last person I think will have a good chat and very good money of 125 to 1. No one is mentioning him. Adam Hadwin, Canadian golfer, has had some good results in the past. 125 to 1 for a strong player like him. You heard it here first. Worth a pound each way. Maybe two pounds each way. That's my practice session finished. Uh, Ashton, it has stopped raining, which is a positive sign. Hopefully more things to come. Uh, you've just seen my Masters picks. I won't be surprised if a favourite wins it. And if Tiger Woods wins it, I think the world will explode. It'd be great, wouldn't it? I would forfeit my pounds on those bets for Tiger to win. But he's one of the favourites, so it's not very good money. Uh, next week, well this week, I've got the uh, final event of the Winter Series, the Lancashire in the... Uh, where are we at? Blackpool North Shore. So hopefully the rain stays off for that. I'm currently third in the order of merit for that. Um, don't think I can squeeze to the top. It's nice to get a finish in that top three. It's always a good positive sign for the season ahead. I will catch you all next week.